to say to you something about boundaries that is just flipping it on its head for a moment, which is this. Sometimes you don't need a boundary. You need to listen to someone. Someone that's trying to help you speak something to you that's going to grow you, but it's an uncomfortable conversation, doesn't need a boundary. He needs you to soften and listen and learn and grow. And I don't want anyone to misunderstand certainly my voice about boundaries as if anything you don't want to hear needs a boundary. I've never said that, I'm not saying that. These can often be called toxic boundaries. I'm not sure toxic's the right word, but certainly they're unhelpful. Where in your life right now do you need to not be creating a boundary and instead realize, hang on, this is something actually I need to listen to. I need to learn and grow here. It's uncomfortable. Apologies for the geese fighting in the background. Geese are so, my house is surrounded by geese. Geese are so territorial and always fighting. Maybe I should do a post about geese sometimes. And the things I've learned from geese after 25 years living in this farmhouse, observing them. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah. Boundaries. <laughs> the geese need a bloody boundary. So, where right now in your life do you need to drop that deal of I need a boundary? Nothing. No. I need to welcome this conversation and grow and learn from it.